Hey guys, Decav13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the last episode, uh, we took care of the previous two weeks. Uh, we did a couple of the free battle quests, including a paralogue, which involved uh, subduing a rebellion from the Dusker people. Uh, involved actually kind of helping them out a little bit by uh, just defeating them, not killing them, so they'd live to see another day. Dudu was very pleased with that, and I was very happy to help him. Alright, um, so this week, like I said, we're going to go explore, and we're gonna, co we're gonna go confront Yuritsa. Well, that's the only thing we really have to do. Uh, I want to use my exploration points first. I do have supports as well. Oh. Burned down in Felix's support. Uh-oh. If I run, he'll chase me. Maybe if I just hold really, really still. <laughs> Bernie, what are you doing? Ahem. Whatever it is, I didn't do it, I swear. Unless I'm offending you just by standing here. <laughs> oh. No, here. I believe this is yours. That's my satchel. Wait, where did you get that? Stop asking questions and just take it. No! Trap! <laughs> it's a trap! Oh. Why are you acting like this? Acting? Does this terror on my face look fake to you? You're being difficult. Come on, this is yours. I can't! Your icy glare has frozen me completely! Shut up, just take the thing. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Felix is not used to dealing with this. <laughs> no! Please don't kill me! What? Who's going to... Sword! He's got a sword! <laughs> My sword! How did you... Whoa, what? I can't do this anymore! <laughs> what an odd girl. But she has certainly caught my attention. I've never seen that technique before. <laughs> well, I, I, at least Felix likes her, I guess. No, <laughs> oh, I still have to give this back to her. You got your work cut out for you there, Felix. <laughs> oh, that was adorable. Alright, so to do in a net, rank B part two. Forgive me. <laughs> it's fine. Honestly, it's pretty funny when you think about it. I did not expect the horse to react so violently when I approached. No kidding. And I didn't expect the two of us to get covered in hay. Animals have never taken to me. It must be as you said. My face is the problem. Oh. I have not honed my smile well enough. I deeply regret the trouble I've caused you. Don't be ridiculous. And especially don't be sad. It's no trouble at all, I promise. Everyone makes mistakes. Isn't that what you've been trying to teach me? Yes, I suppose so. It does look like this will take a while to clean up. But if we work together, it'll be done in no time. I am truly sorry. Don't apologize. When it's your turn for stable duty, I'm happy to help. Really? Sure. And in return, you can help me out when I'm on kitchen duty. Of course. By the way, I tried out all that stuff you mentioned before. About how to not be a scatterbrain. I'm still pretty hopeless, but thanks to you, I'm making fewer mistakes. It's probably not a good idea for me to be left alone around knives and boiling water, though. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. That's why it'll be really nice knowing you have my back. You have changed. Huh? You no longer fear approaching me for help. You simply ask. And now, when the need arises, I will rely on you, too. Aw. She had a nice friendship. B plus. Net and Ingrid. Rank B. Oh, this will be the la their last one. Ingrid? What's the matter, Annette? You look upset. I'm just so, so sorry. I had no idea. I'm not sure I follow. Take a breath. What's going on? Well, 
I was really curious about why you're not interested in things like makeup. So I asked some of our friends about it, and... Oh, I see. I imagine they mentioned that my family was fairly poor, and they probably also mentioned that I lost my fiancé. Correct? They did. I'm so sorry. It was thoughtless of me to try pushing those things on you. It's perfectly fine, Annette. It's true, my family struggled financially. It wasn't easy growing up, but it taught me values I wouldn't have learned otherwise. And we weren't so poor that I consider myself deprived. I'm sure my family would have bought me makeup if I had wanted it. But it never mattered enough to me. Not then, and not now. Oh, so you just never sought that stuff out? Never. While I acknowledge it can be fun, fussing over my outward appearance isn't an instinct of mine. When I was younger, I'd usually be found covered in dirt, bugs in my hair, and a big <laughs> smile on my face. Things haven't changed too much since. Then, when my fiancé passed on, my priorities shifted even further. It reminded me of what's most important in life. Hmm. Beyond that, it's hard to think of myself changing without him around to see it, even if it's something trivial like how I present myself. But talking to you has helped me realize it's okay to loosen up and enjoy those things, if I want. So, thank you. Me? Oh, I didn't do anything at all. Except pester. More importantly, do you notice anything different about me today? Yes. It's very subtle, but I could tell right away that you were using that makeup I gave you. You could? Oh, that makes me happy. I was trying to apply it just how you showed me. You did great, and it really suits you. I think there's a lot I can learn from you, Annette. You've helped me embrace the lighter side of life I quite like. It's my pleasure. Ooh, this is so great. Wanna go shopping to celebrate? Uh, shopping? But what would we buy? That sounds so overwhelming. <laughs> There's a dress I've been eyeing for a while now. I'm certain it will complement your pretty eyes. Just leave it to me, Ingrid. I'll make you the most fabulous night this world has ever seen. Well, that does sound fun. I look forward to it. Oh, what a good friendship. All right. I guess that'll about do it for us here. All right, so before we do go confront Yuri, it's because that'll end the month. What the? Oh. Let me go and use my activity points. I want to go get some lecturing from people, so let's go see Hanuman. Because I want him to give me some reason. Young flames dis- what? Who would just flames- Thunder magic, reason level two. I still have much to learn. Oh, that reminds me. I can change people's skills, right? Let me equip brow brawling, because I don't need that. I don't need bow prowess anymore either. Equip HP plus five. What is this battalion advantage? When foe initiates combat, units still attacks first if the battalion endurance is uh, greater than or no, is less than or equal to a third. All right. Dimitri, let's say. You don't mean that. Flaming Shades combat will... Co you know, it's battalion endurance. It's less than or equal to a third. Grants crit plus 50. Wow. Sterity plus 4. Seal movement. If unit damages foe during combat, foe suffers movement minus 1 for one turn after combat. Sword breaker... Model leader. Double experience earned for battalions. I want to use sword breaker. I think I might get rid of battalion wrath for seal movement, because that sounds like a really cool skill to have. The do has lance breaker. I'll unequip those for lance breaker. Felix. 
he has everything he needs. He doesn't need bow prowess or brawling prowess, though. Ash yeah, doesn't either of those things. I mean, I figure I might as well clean up everyone's skills. You don't need axe prowess. Mercedes, you don't need bow. You could stay authority. You could stay with authority, though. Oh, her class skill is fire. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I wanted to clean that up real quick. Might as well go see Rhea as well. So I can get reason training from her. Hmm. Perhaps may the goddess pre Dining hall. Hey. There is an event going up. Alliance cuisine. Uh. Hubert can support with Bernadetta. Let's go with Felix. Ooh, this is my favorite. That looks appetizing. left. Uh, oh. Before I end up forgetting, because I'm sure I will. Down to the marketplace. We need to fucking repair all of our weapons. Especially the ones on Dimitri. Those are fucking useless. Hey there. Is this it? There you go. Yeah, fix my iron sword too. Is this it? There you go. Is this it? There you go. The do is fine. Felix's weapons are alright. Ashes are alright. Let's fix the javelin. Is this it? There you go. Can't fix the lance of ruin, unfortunately. There you go. Fix up Bernie's bow. Is this it? There you go. I can upgrade it to a steel bow. Iron bow. With an iron bow plus, actually. There you go. Come back anytime. Might as well clean up inventories while I'm at it too. Let's see. I don't need the bow anymore. I don't need the axe. I'll just use the golden apple on myself. 
Dimitri, you do not need all of these vulnerabilities. You know, let, let me redistribute vulnerabilities to everyone. Give you the leather shield, though. Actually, the lion brooch. Charm plus tail. Yeah, might as well give the dude leather shield. everyone that I'm using anyway. Alright. That should be good for everyone's what do you require? stuff. Let me replenish battalions. Let me hire battalion too. Let me get... Felix doesn't need... Yeah, Felix doesn't need one because if he doesn't have a battalion, he's more powerful. Let me get one for... Bernadetta. All right, it's based on authority. Let me get her Saros mercenaries. Do you want to hire this battalion? We've got you covered. I think that should be all right for now. Farewell. All right, let's see. Professor. Uh. else I want to do right now, so, you know what? I'm gonna go have tea with Bernie. That sounds like a good use of my time. Hey! See? No one's in Bernie's room but Bernie. Maybe it's what come to think of it. So much! It's a camp um, meal tea. What is it? Did I do something wrong? Do too great, but this was great. Huh. I did well enough. Let me give you a gift, too. Wow, thank you so much. Ah, no new support. Oh, well, Let's all right. See. I got one point left. Uh, let's see. I already got all the teaching in that I wanted in. So let's... Well, there might be more letters I could answer in here. 
I might do choir practice. I don't know. Three notes, let's say. Uh, let's see. Rest folk treatise on war, treasure, so book, book covers local tactics. Oh yeah, I guess the general treatise on mercenaries. My fellow students call me Dower. I should have to joke around, what's the point in that? Can help settle pre-battle nerves. There you go, Felix. Alright, let's see. Usually enjoy sweets, but traditional case from the N bar are a bit much for my taste. How does this possibly come a dessert? The sweet smell draws people in. Oh well. Almost had three for three. Whatever. Uh. Let's see. Eh, I think I'll go do cooking. That would get a little bonus. Dex plus two, luck plus two, defense plus one. I guess I'll take Dex plus two. Sounds fun. Hmm. A little more secret. Left to do is Hello. go to Professor. Professor. Sure. Yeri Tess. Just forgot his name for a second there. Probably still didn't get it right. That's how bad I am at this. Alright. This. Yeri Tess. That was his name. All right, let's go. The underground chamber. Oh, Manuela. <gasps> Professor Manuela! Professor Manuela! Please wake up! Professor Manuela! Is she injured? She's still breathing, but she needs medical attention immediately. Look! Do you see Professor Manuela's hand? It's like she's pointing at something. I see it, behind that shelf. Could it be a secret passage? What is the meaning of... Wait, is that Manuela? What happened here? I'm guessing Yaritza must have attacked her. We must take her. She to must the have found out and confronted him. You don't just stand there. Help me carry her. Of course. I'll return shortly, Professor. Do you think this is related to Blaine's disappearance? What should we do, Professor? Let's investigate. It looks stark. Uh Dark in there. Oh, you've always been scared of dark places, <laughs> haven't you, Annie? But don't worry. The professor and I will protect you. There are sounds coming from within. If we're going to investigate, now is the time. We'll be okay. I'm sure of it. Are you ready, professor? Let's go. What is this place? It's so... Ah! I see someone. I think they're unconscious. Flane. Is it Flane? Yes, I see Flane. But who is this other person? Professor, someone's coming from farther in. That scythe. Is that the knight who attacked the Holy Mausoleum? That sword. You must be... One of us will die. The other will live. I will enjoy this dance of damnation. Alright. 
Guess we're gonna fight the Death Knight. Please let us be able to actually fight you now. <laughs> and not some kind of like super OP bullshit. I'd appreciate that. Of course he's even stronger. With all those great skills. I, I want that dark seal. Not gonna be able to get it though. Oh great, warp tiles. Oh no. Of course, it raises his res up to 20. Man, they really don't want to make this fucking easy, do they? What are our conditions? Defeat the Death Knight or rout all other enemies. Okay. Everyone's all equipped. So I guess... Let's go. If I fall in battle, or if 25 turns pass. That knight looks like death itself. We must rescue Flane immediately. There's something oh, I strange Dimitri about the flooring at the end of the corridor. Something might happen if you step there. Yeah, we have Shamir with us. To work. Huh. Can't believe I didn't notice that. What should I do? All right, you take the lead here, Dale. Give it my all. I'll oh, my mage is going this way. Oh no. Ah, uh, I, I I could probably get away with sending Ash this way. Actually, actually, I might need to send Ash this way. Yeah, I'll send him back the other way. area 
Oh, she could attack the Death Knight from here. Ready. That's not a good idea. I think most of our forces are going to be needed over here, though. Weak. A threat eliminated. I suppose I've improved. Expected. I'm gonna send Ash over this way so we can use Lock Touch. I'll have Shamir take care of that. She's actually able to double that next to her Iron Bow Plus. Got him. Hey, B rank. What do you get for B? This is good for something. Nothing really? Huh. Well, I thought you'd get something for B rank. Stay focused. I still have five uses of this. I expect. I'm interested to try something. It's gonna end really terribly, but I'm still interested to try. Thank you, Shamir. Are we done? Strength is all for a mercenary. Got a door key.
Oh, right. I almost forgot. Can counterattack regardless of range, John? Yeah, I was about to try that with Bernie and see what happened. <laughs> nope. I'm not risking Bernie to his life. I'm good, Rez. It's dangerous. There's Catherine. She's equipped to me. That explains that. No, I didn't want to do that. So this takes us. Still think I can take out this guy. What's next? Guess I've gotten better. Door key. I think I'll just attack the rubble and take that out. Well, I can do that from here with Shamir. No, I can't. Oh, no. Well, I can take out this dark mage. Haha, <laughs> get fucked, loser. Can't escape Bernie. I thought it was dead. Nah, that guy was dead. A uh -uh. uh, delightful ting of when fire hits you and it does no damage. All the sense that makes. I just let Ingrid start killing. Some them. kind of contraption oh. has been activated. I did what I had to. Can't heal, so might as well use two turns to do this. Say, who else has to move? I keep forgetting about Ash.
can we not break this then? Just need another K. I just gotta wait till Ash gets over here. Oh wait, no, we have two door keys. My dumbass over here think I only have one. Uh oh, does this guy have axe breaker? This device. It appears operational. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh dear. So you have come. I'll make sure you never leave. This may have been a mistake. Well, shit. Ash, get your ass over here. Set with all these poor level ups she's getting. That is that. Thank you. No effect on flyers. I forgot I about that us. important caveat. Oh well. My technique could use some polish. Good thing Sylvain's on one of these tiles. I had a feeling that might do that. 
So we've activated... I guess that activates all the warp panels. Hmm. Alright. Quite a few. Oh, this is a mistake. Well, I mean, only one person can target him so long as I don't give him the hand axe. He should be okay. Hopefully. This is a dumb idea. We don't have any door key. Oh, Mercedes does. Not my smartest move, I will admit. Weak. What's next? Whoop. Proceed with caution. Tiles lead. We're on turn nine, so fifteen turns left. over here is other contraption. That's good to know. Door number two takes us over to the secret room. Okay. This is where we'll go with Ash first. And then maybe this one goes over here? I mean, I'll test it. I'll send Shamir onto that one because might send us over here. We also have two other ones over there as well. I'm sure one is going to send us over here. Oh, now they're going to go after. Let's see them I handle think that's this. Uh, uh, onslaught. Well, it missed, so it's fine. Uh, let's see. I mean, trial and error, I guess. Oh, I can only use one teleporter return. That makes sense. What should I do? Alright. To deal with try the middle one. It's still going to take like one more turn to get over there.
Oh, right, this guy is still here. I forgot about that. I think the thunder magic. I prevailed. I got a chest cake. It's one. Just need the other one to hit Burn Data. Come on. She got more. She's getting more hit from this now. I guess I'll just have Annette take care of you. I'm not gonna lose. Thanks, Annette. Keep it up. I don't have door keys. Oh no, I do. Ingrid. I'll unlock this one. That's the way right. That's the way I need to go. Still got 14 turns. Alright, I wanted to... I'm not sure which one is going to take us out to there. Could be either one. Well, no, could be this one. Actually, no. This is still the other one we have yet to use. I'll have Shamir test this. Okay, well, we found the one that takes us to the other treasure chest. So it's, it's just these two. Alright, that, that makes it easier. I guess we'll let them take care of the ranged units. That archer is going to be a pain in the ass. Let's just leave them be for now. Don't think so! Ting. Yes. Ting of fire clashing against a mage. Ow. Alright, well, that's all my magic uses. We must all do our part.
Oh, that takes us over here. Why, hello there. <laughs> Felix. Okay. Good thing your crest activated. Am I even here? That could have been bad. Eleven Sword! Yo, Eleven Sword. That's good. You see ranking swords to use it though. Does anyone here have that? I don't think I have that. I only have D plus, right? My sword skill isn't that great. Well, my skills aren't that great. Too, but all right. No, I wanted to. Oh, it's down there at the fucking bottom, John. Yeah, D plus. I have C rank and authority. That's about it. Yeah, I'll sleep you too big. I'm glad the dumbass moved. Get that out of the way. Oh, and this door opened too. Alright, move again. Four units left, aside from the Death Knight. There we go, 
level 16. What did I expect? Bernie, what are these levels? Jeez. She's not getting lucky with levels this chapter. It's not great. You weren't ready. Ingrid, on the other I hand, could use some polish. Here goes. Oh, thanks. Ten turns. Well, let's see what the lever does. Oh, I deactivated the tiles. Oops. Oh, well. Whatever. Ingrid does have enough to go after him. Not strong enough to take him out, though. Unless. Thank you. Ha ha ha! Now she is. Too slow. I aim for greatness. The extra res help too. All right, all we have left is not uh, just a regular little cavalier. Okay. However, I could probably just snipe the cavalier through here. Alright, what's in this chest, Ash? A march ring. Is that you moving it? Yeah, it increases movement. Mmm. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Oh, deactivate. Oh, okay. We just deactivated all the special terrain. Okay. I mean, I'm still not gonna fight the fucking Death Knight, because, you know, he's the fucking Death Knight. But, uh, hey. I now know what that other switch does. Let me... 
Let me do a little creative stuff here. Man, I'm a fucking genius. Says the dude who repeatedly fucks up people's names. As well as simple battle strategy. Ah, uh, the, the, the pleasant little irony in that. And everyone else can just stay where they are. All they can do is like, four health. That one is expected. Kill them. Halt, you're having a bit too much fun. You are getting in the way of my game. Huh. You'll have more opportunities to play soon. Your work here is done. Understood. I will go. We will cross paths again. I am the Flame Emperor. It is I who will reforge the world. Huh. Flame Emperor and the Death Knight? I have to say, they both looked very dangerous. Indeed. Where did they go? It doesn't matter. We need to get these two out of here. Bring them up. So who were these two? I'm guessing one of them wasn't... Uh, Yeritat. Why can't I remember his name? It's a weird name and I can't fucking remember it. That, that's... That's my excuse. Thank goodness! Yerita? Those girls are pale as ghosts, but at least they're alive! Yerita. But that Death Knight person feels so familiar. That's probably Yeritza. You found Flame? Oh, thank goodness. I was wondering where the fuck you were, Dimitri. She was unconscious at the end of that secret passage. We found the culprit, too, but he got away. No use dwelling on it. I'm just grateful that everyone is safe. That's what matters most. I'd like to hear what transpired, but first, we need to get these ladies to the infirmary. Understood. We'll go at once. I'm... I'm sorry, Professor. I'm so relieved I suddenly felt weak. <laughs> I couldn't be happier with how things turned out. And I imagine no one will be more overjoyed than Seteth. Hmm? Hey, Professor. Can you make that expression one more time? Huh? Like this? I don't think I've ever seen your face like that. <laughs> You've never seen me smile? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I apologize. I've forgotten myself and come dangerously close to teasing you. <laughs> it's just... I've never seen you look so happy before. It's downright mesmerizing. Ah, but this isn't a time for idle chit-chat. We must hurry and share the good news with Seteth. Professor. Please, allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flame is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. Hey, I'm just happy she's safe. Yes, indeed. I... I too am overjoyed. Why was Flame taken to begin with? Her kidnapper was the Masked Knight who vanished during the Rite of Rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. Yeah. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flame's blood. Flame's blood? The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare, and extremely dangerous. 
How so? If enemies who know the secrets of Flame's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. Oh, hey, Flame. Flame, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. I mean, I, I guess since since Flane's blood is so special, apparently, I guess that explains why Seteth is so protective of her. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery, where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... You know it is the only reasonable option. Oh. What if I were to join the professor's class? I'm cool with that. Hey, that's a great idea. You think so too? I am so very pleased to hear that. With a professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? Can I entrust you with Flame's safety? It would be my pleasure. I'm so glad that Flame is safe, yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. Yeah, who is that other woman? She wore the uniform of the Academy, but who is she? Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flame are recovering nicely. As is Monica. Monica? Is Monica a student here? Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... However? She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. Oh, so she must have been the victim from last year that we heard about. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her at the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Huh. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Anbar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. Hmm. Will you come to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Sorry, but I've got my own mission, and it's far from Grander Field. The Church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, Strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere, too. Hmm. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Yeah, that's weird. Not that it's likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf. I'm going to leave something for you. I promise. Don't just nod solemnly. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. I'm just being cautious. Then again, I guess you're always solemn. <laughs> well, that, 
That's not foreboding at all, is it? Alright, on to chapter 7. Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. Skills like swap can be used as combat arts too. Five thousand G from the Church of Saros. Oh, what do we got coming up? The battle of the eagle and lion oh. is finally upon us. This is our chance to show off the results of your expert training, Professor. Battle of the eagle and lion. Have Lady Rhea and Seteth really not filled you in? Well, if that's the case, I'm happy to explain. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion takes place every year during the Wyvern Moon. It can be best described as a mock battle between the three houses. Much like the one we had during the Great Tree Moon. Do you remember, Professor? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember our celebration most of all. It was certainly an unforgettable time. I've never seen anyone put away as much victory food as you did that night, Professor. This battle will take place in Empire territory, at Grander Field. In other words, far removed from the monastery. It's a mock battle between the three houses. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. Your Highness, if the rumors are true, I believe Professor Manuela and Professor Hanneman will not be joining us. Ah, yes, right you are. Uh, Even recent events, Professor Manuela has opted to sit this one out. That makes sense. Since she won't be present, Professor Hanneman has decided to skip this year as well. Hmm. What should I do? Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. Professor Manuela! Are you feeling better already? Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield, anyway. <laughs> In that case, perhaps it is best that you sit this one out. Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. Oh. Huh, I'm the only professor present. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. Guess I should have gone with the other one. Oh well. Alright, uh... Let's check real quick. We do have some supports. Oh, only one. Sylvan and Annette. Alright. Uh, we'll do that in the next episode, along with uh, exploring. Uh, so yeah. I will see you all in the next episode. See you then. Bye!